So hi Sarah Telwall, welcome to Samtidskonstdagarna and Sweden and Gothenburg. Hi, thanks for the invite. <laughs> it's been great listening to you today and uh, right now we're having um, a book release for Size Matters, which is your book and it has been translated into Swedish, so lovely. I'm thrilled that I've never been translated into Swedish before. <laughs> and I've never had a book before, this is great, two in one. <laughs> so please tell me very shortly about the book. Um, the main idea in the book is this idea of w what I've called deferred value creation. How do you translate that? What's that in Swedish? I can't, I can't pronounce what that is. And you don't know what it is! Yes, we It was a word that you were not very, very difficult to, to pronounce, I think. It's uppskjutet värde. Okay, I'm not going to repeat that on camera, you know. I'm going to try it. No, okay, I'll try it. Run it past me again. Okay. Uppskjutet värde. Uppskjutet värde. It's brilliant. Okay. It's brilliant. Okay. Uppskjutet värde. Okay, I'll, if I practice a few more times I might even manage to get it right. Um, so anyway, the main idea is uppskjutet värde. Uh, where what I'm saying is that the role of small arts organisations is distinctly different from that of large organisations because the work that they do it takes a good 20 years to see the value of it. So that's what I mean by the value is deferred. You have to look back on it uh, and be, to be able to see how important it was, was. Whereas with a large institution who tend to be putting on monographic shows of already well-established artists, you, you can realise the value of that much quicker. And that changes the business model for the organisations. So when you're looking at how government funding is spent, um, the smaller organisations who are creating this deferred value are likely to continue to be more dependent on grants than the big ones who can have a flourishing, whether it's cafe, shop, sponsorship. So there are certain things that become possible for large organisations. And we need to understand this difference uh, particularly if there is a threat of cut, cuts in, in grants, but also because it is useful to, the, to all arts organisations if they can diversify their income, and the mechanisms by which you will do that are substantially affected by the size of the organisation. So today you've been speaking to um people from Swedish organizations within the cultural section. So a question is, what would you tell the Swedish uh, that you wouldn't tell the English? Ah, wow. What would I tell the Swedish? Oh, I'd tell the Swedish, learn from the tough things we've had to do in the UK. You know, the advantage of being able to see what has happened to the arts in the UK uh, over the last five years is that now is your opportunity to make sure this doesn't happen to you. So learn from our, whether you call them mistakes, hardships, whatever you call them, please learn from them and don't let this happen to you. Great, thank you. Enjoy your evening and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>